Hello, this is David from bitwrestler.com. In this lesson, I am going to show you how to create a RAID 1 array using that in Ubuntu 9.04. In order to create a RAID 1 array, you will need at least two hard drives. It is recommended that you use the same brand and capacity hard drives. In this lesson, I am using two 500 gigabyte hard drives. First, we need to install that by going to Application, Accessories, and Terminal. And then type in the following command. You don't need to configure Postfix unless you want that to send email status of your array to your email address. Now I am going to create a Linux partition in my hard drives. First I'm going to use FDIS to get a list of all the hard drives that are connected to my server. The hard drives that I will use for my RAID 1 array are SDB and SDD. To create a Linux RAID partition, enter the following command for your hard disk. Enter P to verify that there aren't any other partition. Enter N for new partition enter P for primary partition and enter 1 for partition number 1. Press enter, enter. Notice that I press enter for first cylinder and last cylinder is because I want to use the default value. Enter T and then enter FD. Now to save changes enter W and press enter. It's a good idea to go back into the hard drive to verify that a Linux partition was created. Use fdis and then type in the command p. And as you can see, there's a Linux RAID partition. At this point, you should have that installed and two hard drive with the same size Linux RAID partition. Now let's create the RAID 1 array by entering the following command. Make sure you get the following output. Now check the status of your RAID 1 array by typing in the following command. Make sure that that is currently resyncing your hard drives. While that is currently resyncing the hard drives, let's create a mount point for your RAID 1 array. I'm, to, I'm going to create my mount point in the MNT folder. Next, edit your fstab file so that your RAID 1 array will automatically be mounted upon startup. To ensure that RAID 1 array will properly be assembled at the next startup, I'm going to edit the file mdadmconfig. First, enter the following command. and then copy the outputs. Now type in the following command.
Now paste the output. Move the entry down one line and above it type in the following. Please notice that, notice that the name of your hard disk will probably be different than mine. In my case it is SDD and SDB. After that save change by holding control and press X Pre and then press enter. To check on the resyncing progress of the hard drive, enter the following command. Before creating a file system for the RAID 1 array, make sure that the resync is finished. Now that the resync is finished, type in the following command to create an EX T3 file system for your RAID 1 array. Create a file system for your RAID 1 array by typing in mkfs.ext3 and then the name of your RAID 1 array. In my case it is MD0. After the file system is created you should get the following output. All you have to do now is mount the array and it is ready to use. If you have any questions or comments, post them in bitrusher.com forums. Thank you.